So when does a toxic workplace become too much to bear? The CEO of Away, a luggage startup company, has stepped down. This follows a report by The Verge detailing how Steph Corey oversaw a toxic and cutthroat work culture with grueling work hours and a ban on paid time off. So she has since apologize but this has us asking is toxic workplace culture a thing of the past Erica no <laughs> it's not right. true it's, it's absolutely not what ends up happening is and this is what bothers me about it because there are a lot of people and a lot of companies out there who tout equality who tout inclusivity they want to give us all of the stats of their diversity and all of these different things but they haven't changed their climate from within and it's completely telling I don't know why anybody would get up on a soapbox and say, I mean, we just talked about this last week. Right. Oh, this is, but this is how our diversity, this is how we um, promote X, Y, and Z. But then you have real, Union. right, you yeah. have real issues that are happening because they are embed, embedded into your actual organization. So I think it's time for people to, one, have someone in the room who isn't scared that they'll be ended by speaking out, for starters. And there aren't a lot of people in in the room who aren't scared of losing their jobs. I had a job where this person would actually throw things at the wall and break them like over my head. Wow. I mean, but things like that happen. To listen. Yeah, I'm just kidding. So, seriously, I'm like, <laughs> but you, but the moment that someone is given carte blanche and is considered above anything else in the organization, then that is problematic. And we have that happening way too much and it needs to be called I out. I will yeah. say that happens way too much. And I do agree, of course, it needs to be called out and handled with the utmost consequences. But I do believe we've had progress. I can probably name most of the older people in the room, including myself, including Erica's story, where we look back at some of our bosses that would get physical, right? They would throw things, they would scream, they would yell, and it was somehow normalized, mm -hmm. right? You just saw it as like, oh my God, my scary boss, or that's my boss, they have every right to act that way. Now, if we were to see somebody in this room do that, I think immediately we would all collectively say, that's not okay, how do we handle that situation? So to that point, 10 years ago, I don't think that would have happened five years ago. Right, well, we're reporting on it now, but Erica, I think you're right. It's embedded in, in, into the actual fabric of a lot yes. of companies. You think about just networks that we've covered, NBC, CBS, Papa John's. Dropping the end bomb at during a diversity conference. That's how normalized all yes. this stuff was. What was the company where uh, But there's consequences now is my right, that's what I'm saying. Now little, we're reporting on there's it. There's a so little bit of silver lining. Not mm -hmm. everybody's reporting because there's still a lot of people that are fearful and that needs to change. But I just want us to recognize Harvey that Weinstein, some Matt progress. Lauer, powerful men are starting to have yes. fallen. And women clearly from True. this company.